Hello guys, today we will talk about matrix. What is matrix? So, by the definition, rectangular arrangement of numbers is called matrix. For example, we have numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have these four numbers. We want to arrange these numbers in order. So for arranging this, we will write this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And enclosed it in a shape like rectangle. So for rectangle, we will enclose it by brackets, by square brackets. When we enclose these numbers by square bracket, these form a rectangle. This actually forms a square, but a square is also a rectangle. We, when we enclose this number by brackets, we can now say we have a matrix. But we don't know now what this matrix is. What is its name? So for naming it, we will write is equal to A is equal to the matrix. The metric is that and the A is the number. So A metric is equal to these elements. These 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the elements of the matrix A. Now these numbers are arranged in rows and columns. So what do we call rows? Rows is the arrangement of number is horizontal form. Horizontally and vertical arrangement of number is columns 1 2 is this is 1 2 this is a row and 1 3 this is a column 1 3 and 2 4 is a column 1 2 and 3 4 is a row row v row is represented by m and column is represented by n the another thing we have to learn about matrix is an order. Order of matrix. What is order of matrix? So order of matrix is equal to rows multiply columns m multiply n. So in this matrix we have rows is equal to 2 1 and 2 and columns is equal to 1 and 2 2 2 multiply 2 so 2 multiply 2 is other of matrix to det and 1 2 3 4 are the elements of the matrix a so to determine how many elements this a consists uh, pretend we don't know its element so to know an element we use the order of the matrix formula to determine it elements. So row multiply column formula. Row we have 2 and column 2. 2 multiply 2 is equal to 4. So matrix A consists 4 elements. Hope you guys think uh, hope you guys yeah. hope you Hope you guys have understand about metrics. We'll see you in the next lecture.